Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your December 2017 Astro Update. It's Raina here. And for you, Virgo, there's going to be a flurry of activity in your fourth house of home and family. Because beginning the month of December, first of all, the sun is in that fourth house in the sign of Sagittarius. But Venus enters there. And Venus can bring money with her. So anything related to real estate, or any kind of family issue. Now, this could also be that harmony is brought to a situation involving your family, whether it's your family of origin or your current family. And uh, sometimes Venus in the fourth house can mean that you're redecorating, especially since uh, Mercury retrograde is going to be here on the 3rd through the 22nd, because during a Mercury retrograde, you're rethinking something and you may decide to change the decor. Um, I don't know if that is indicated during a Mercury retrograde to go out and hire a designer and do that kind of stuff. Usually they say don't begin new projects during Mercury retrogrades, but I don't know if it's that serious. When it, it it could be because if there's any kind of uh, snafus, any kind of uh, communication breakdowns, uh, the designer might think you said you wanted, um, you know, uh, maroon paint, and you asked for something uh, quite different. <laughs> but um, in any case, as I said, it's going to Mercury is going to be here until the twenty second. You may be rethinking. Uh, some kind of move. Perhaps it has something to do with your uh, a, a contract. Maybe you were going to sell your house and uh, something isn't quite right. And um, so right before Christmas, Mercury goes direct on the 22nd. And Venus actually goes into your fifth house on Christmas Day, the 25th. So that could also have to do with love relationships kind of blossoming. And that's the other thing too. Your fifth house is fellow sign Capricorn. And there's a lot of energy there too, or will be um, at some point in the month. And this is significant for Virgos because if you're single, you have Saturn going into the fifth house on the 19th. And that could mean that Virgo people are really uh, getting quite serious about settling down with somebody. Uh, the fifth house can be dating. Uh, it can be recreational sex, but it's um, fun and games. So any kind of parties, amusements. And in December, of course, there is a big push towards that kind of stuff because of the holiday season. Even if you personally don't celebrate a particular religious holiday, you still may be going to office parties or uh, family gatherings or friend or gatherings with your friends, you know, and it's a very festive time, but you happen to have uh, that energy in the fifth house, including the sun going there on the 21st, that's uh, the solstice time. And so um, it's it's funny because Saturn going into this fifth house on the 19th kind of makes it a lot more serious. So at the at the during the last two weeks of the month, you may be less inclined to just be um, all fun and games because you have serious aspirations. The fifth house can not only be about love, but it can be about children. And it also can be about any kind of um, personal business of yours. It's a, it's a house of creativity. So whether you're creating children or whether you're creating a business or um, a work of art, that can be indicated with the fifth house. And so I I think about somebody who may be single and has just been having a good time. And finally you say, you know what, that's all well and good, but I'm looking for something permanent and this isn't cutting it for me. And I think a lot of Virgo people are capable of being alone because after all, uh, your sign corresponds with the hermit card in the major arcana of the tarot. 
but you still may want to uh, pair up with somebody at certain points in your life. And this may be one of those points, especially if you're going through your first Saturn return, uh, which happens in your late twenties. Um, you would have to check your chart. I think it would be kind of like if you're in your late, like if you were born in the late eighties, early nineties, that this would be the, the case. And, um, your, your, uh, Saturn would have to be in Capricorn and you're having your first Saturn return. And that tends to make people settle down and feel like, um, they're not kids anymore and they're not inclined to behave like, uh, overgrown college students or adolescents. Okay. So, um, all of that can conspire to give you a more serious outlook, even in this house that is dedicated to a lot of um, fun stuff. And uh, so let's go back a little bit because I kind of got ahead of myself. There's going to be a full moon on the third of the month. And for Virgo, this is your 10th house of career. And actually full moons in the 10th house can be times where you are given recognition for what you've accomplished. So you may be taking your bow. Sometimes it can be people who are retiring, they're uh, wrapping up their career, um, what have you. But, uh, but um, even in those cases, there may be people who recognize what a great contribution you've made and you may get love uh, for your efforts and the 10th house is this public um, house where your talents are showcased. And the full moon is like taking a spotlight and putting it on that and other people seeing that, that uh, the, the accomplishments that you have uh, made and you could feel very honored, but it could also be a promotion um, full moons can bring culmination to something. So if you've been working hard on something, it may come to fruition and things like that. So that's good for career. On that same day um, is when Mercury goes retrograde in your fourth house. Now, the, the fourth and tenth houses uh, oppose one another. So there's always that push-pull in an opposition between home, you know, between whatever they represent. So in this case, it's home and family. And um, in some cases, as I said, it could be an ending in the 10th house. And maybe you decide that you want to pursue something at home. Maybe you are uh, somebody who is getting pregnant and you want to be home with your child. You don't want to be um, uh, out there and not being able to raise your child full time. So there could be many things going on around that full moon and what it represents uh, to you personally. And let's see. So on the ninth of the month, Mars goes into Scorpio. So it has been in your second house for over a week, um, beginning the month of December. I just want to briefly touch upon that because Mars in the second house really makes you a man or woman on a mission when it comes to earning money. So this is, um, we're, we're talking about the lead up, um, into the, the Christmas season. It's, um, or we'll just say holiday. There are other holidays too in, in, uh, December. Um, so starting in November, I, it's all, it's going to be, for those of you uh, listening in November, Mars is in this sector or in the second house all month long. And then it spills into December. Um, it gives people a lot of drive, ambition to earn money for whatever reason. There may be a specific goal that you have, and it could have to do with a home, actually, because of all this activity in the fourth house. Maybe you're trying to save for a down payment and you're a little bit short and you're you're just kind of um, filling it in, 
or it could or or some kind of renovation or it it'd be more like beautification with Venus and just um maybe just for the the Christmas season you have to work extra hours and so it's also having the nice by- byproduct of producing more money but it gives you the physical stamina to be able to do it which is the important thing it's not enough to have ambition you have to back it up with energy And then on the ninth, it goes into Scorpio in your third house of communication. Now, the third house is the internet and related um, avenues of communication, but it's also your siblings. So watch out for any kind of wars with uh, family members uh, other than your parents. The third house can be your cousins, your your brothers and sisters. And uh, it is holiday season, so that's not... Uh, beyond the pale that something like that might occur, um, arguments and some sort of conflict. But it could simply mean that you are, maybe you were saving so you could go to school because um, the third house can be some kind of training, especially. And uh, let's see, what else is going on here? Okay, well, there's a new moon in Sagittarius on the 18th of the month. And this is at 26 Sag, and this is your fourth house of home and family. New beginnings in this sector. And Venus is there. Uh, uh, Saturn is still there. Um, Saturn is right about to go into Capricorn. Actually, the very next day, uh, Saturn goes into that fifth house. And two days later, the sun goes into that fifth house. So um, you're looking at, and as I said, uh, Venus goes there on Christmas Day. So um, it's possible that some of you will meet a potential love interest uh, at some kind of holiday function. And that's nice because with um, Saturn in this sector now, this could be a keeper. So just keep that in mind, Virgo, as you navigate the month of December. And I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like a private reading, I do have a running special through the end of 2017, 20% off of all of my readings, including my needle chart interpretations, which are the closest to this type of reading, just pure astrology, looking at your natal chart, looking at your patterns, your your um, strengths and the next 12 months, hotspots and money, career and love. The coupon code is Jupiter and you can find it below. There's a link. Otherwise, have a wonderful December Virgo. Take care of yourselves. Bye.